Hello friends, today I'm going to solve liquid problem number 125, valid palindrome. In this problem, we are given a phrase and we need to find if it's a palindrome or not using this function. So, um, what is palindrome? Palindrome is a string which reads the same forward and backward. So, here in our condition, we are given a string which can have non-alphanumeric characters. So, we need to remove all the non-alphanumeric characters and convert uppercases to lowercase letters and then check if it is a palindrome or not. So, here we are given a string and in the string we have both uppercase characters non alphanumeric uh, characters as well so we need to remove these non alphanumeric characters and convert these to lower string lowercase and compare and while we are comparing we find that this is a palindrome so let's take an example here uh, okay i would rather write it over here so let's create a text let's suppose we have something like this so this string is a palindrome why because while we are reading it forward it's a p p a while we read it backwards as well it's a p p a so that's a palindrome a palindrome could also be an odd number let's suppose this is a string this is also palindrome because it reads the same forward and backward so there are two ways we could solve a palindrome problem the first one is by creating a reverse of this string so if this is string is palindrome then the reverse of this string also would be a p p a right so in that case the reverse will be equals to the original string so in that way we could compare and find if it's a palindrome or not okay if um we can also solve it in another way that is by using two pointers so for that what we do is uh but instead of creating a new string which would actually cost of cost us a uh, space of o of n because we are creating a reverse string which is equal to the size of the original string right so that would be of n space complexity so instead of doing that what we do is we follow a two pointer approach so we take two pointers each pointing the end of the string now we compare these two ends if these two ends are equal then we move these pointers closer to each other okay so now these two pointers are pointing at p so since these two are also equal we move the pointers again so this pointer moves here this pointer move here so basically the left pointer and right pointer we have now right pointer and left pointer has changed so in this case left pointer is pointing uh, is greater than right so in that case we uh, stop because we know now we have found our polypalindrome let's take another example let's suppose we have a1 a so we have left pointer here and another pointer which is pointing to a that is right we compare this to both of them are equal we change the pointers now left is pointing here and right is also pointing to the same okay since they are pointing to the same character we don't need to compare actually check them because they are obviously the same so in that case also we know that these are equal so whenever we are comparing we take the left and right pointer and we compare the characters as long as left is less than right so now we know how to compare our palindrome how to check a string is palindrome or not now the additional complexity here is we have non-alphanumeric characters as well so first of all we need to remove those non-alphanumeric characters as well so that also we can do it in two ways the first way would be to uh, remove them in the very beginning that is we create a array out of this string where we only split this array based on alphanumeric characters only okay so in that case we will get an array of only alphanumeric characters so that would make our job easy 
a while performing the comparison but in that case also we are creating a space complexity of o of n so instead of that we can do it in a, another way that is while we are iterating over each of the characters in the left and right pointer in that uh, at that time only we can check if these two these characters are alphanumeric or not if these are alphanumeric we compare them if they are these are not alphanumeric we just skip those characters so uh, let's proceed with um, this uh, solution and let's see how we could solve it so what we need is we need first of all a left pointer which points to the first index and right pointer which points to the last one so that is length minus one now while while left is less than right we need to compare both the characters right from the strings so uh, let us just take the characters from the string the left character c1 equals s at left and let us just convert the character from uppercase to lowercase so dot to lower case and similarly let's see to equals as uh, right okay to lower case so this will actually convert our characters to lower case if it's a character if it's an alphabet if it is not an alphabet it will just remain the same so now now that we have converted it into lowercase now we compare if the character is alphabet and number or not so for that c1 should be greater than equals to a and c1 should be less than equals to z right or it can also be a number so c1 should be greater than equals to zero and c1 is less than equals to 9 so here why am i taking this inverted comma to uh, check if it is a number or not because our character here is not a number it's actually a string character right so that is why we are also taking it as a string literal so same if it is a character we move on with our comparison else what we do is we just skip that right so we skip it by uh, moving towards the left for example if our left pointer is here then we do not want to compare th with this character right so we move our left towards the right okay we are always moving left towards the right the same thing we are going to do with our right pointer we are going to compare the character okay sorry about that so i'm just going to copy and paste it over here c2 c2 should be alphanumeric so if it is alphanumeric then we move on with our comparison else we again skip that one all right so now if both of these conditions are satisfied then both of them are alphanumeric that is when we compare we need to know that these two are equal if these two are equal then we just move to the next character comparison else we return false so this is all the code we need and we return true finally when we have performed all the evaluations and each of the characters were found to be equal so let's try to run our code and look at the result great all the test cases passed i have added few test cases of my own okay now let's submit this and yeah so it has been accepted so i also have a uh, a solution where i am using o of n space complexity so this is the one where i'm splitting it into an array by using a regular expression here and joining that into a string again so this is a string of characters which only consists of lowercase characters uppercase character or numer number okay and then starting from left and right pointer i'm comparing those two characters 
by converting them into lower case and if they are not equal we return false else we keep on looping and at the end we return true but this is o of n space complexity and time complexity is the same so hope you like my solution let me know in the comments down below